Greetings, students. I just want to go over um, calculating intake and output. I have several requests regarding this particular um, these particular calculations. Okay, so we understand that intake and output is very important um, to uh, keep track of when we're dealing with our patients, right? Because some patients have strict I and O, strict intake and output. Intake is considered oral fluids, IV fluids, tube feedings, um, also medications. Output will be urine, um, vomit or emesis, bloody drainage, loose stool, um, NG drainage and also perspiration, okay? So um, let's go over this particular uh, setup, okay? Here are your, um, your conversions. One cup is equivalent to eight ounces. One glass is four ounces, and we know that 30 milliliters is equivalent to one ounce. So the patient drank eight ounces, an eight ounce cup of milk, they drank a six ounce cup of um, OJ, orange juice, and four ounces of a glass of water, okay? So um, this is very simple, okay? All we have to do is take the eight and multiply it by 30 because there's uh, 30 milliliters is equivalent to um, one ounce, okay? So we take the eight, we times it by 30, and we come up with 240 milliliters. So remember, we have to convert the ounces to milliliters and then total them up. Six times 30, because there's 30 milliliter in one ounce. All right, um, that comes out to 180 milliliters. And then four times 30 here comes out to 120 milliliters. Okay, we add these up and the total is 500 and 40 milliliters is what the patient uh, drank during breakfast, okay? All right, so now let's do a few, uh, let's do some fractions, right? Because students tend to have some difficulty calculating, uh, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, calculating fractions. So let's do a few fractions really quick. I want my board to fall over. All right. Okay, so let's say the patient drank a uh, three-fourths uh, glass of milk. So remember that we always convert the um, ounces to milliliters, okay? So the patient drank a three-fourths glass of milk. They also drank uh, four ounces of uh, water. and two ounces of broth, okay? So we need to tally all of this up, all right? So let's start with this fraction here, all right? So first we have to convert this fraction to a decimal. So it'd be three divided by four, okay? That gives us 0 0.75, all right? So now that is in decimal form. Now we need to convert it to ounces, okay? Um, so one glass or glass is equivalent to four ounces. So we take 0 0.75, we multiply it by four, and we come out with um, three ounces, okay? Three ounces. Now we convert the three ounces to milliliters, right? By multiplying by 30, and we get not, uh, 90 milliliters here, right? That's 90 milliliters, okay? So now with four ounces, you know we multiply that by 30 and we come up with 120 milliliters. The two ounces, we times that by 30 and we come up with 60. So we tally all of this up, 120 plus 60 plus 90 and we get 270 milliliters. Very simple, right? Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, maybe we could do one more. Maybe we can do one more. Let's try one more that is a uh, fraction. Let's do a fraction. I think you guys understand how to convert the 
ounces to milliliters, which is multiplying by 30. Let's try a fraction one. Patient drank one fourth glass of apple juice, okay? And they drank one and three fourths. Now, you know, there's more than one way to do these problems. If you have an easier way to do it, that's fine, okay? Because some people don't know shortcuts. They just want to know the basics. So we're going over the basics. All right, one and three fourths cup of coffee. I'm not a mathematician, okay? I'm just doing my best <laughs> to help our, our students, okay? So the patient drank a fourth of a glass of, of apple juice and one and three fourths cup of coffee. So the first thing, of course, we have to convert this fraction to a decimal. All right, we do that and we come out with 0 0.25. All right, the patient drank a fourth of a glass. So we know that a glass is equivalent to four ounces. We take that 0 0.25, we multiply it by four, and we come up with one ounce, one ounce. All right, now we convert the ounce to milliliter. One ounce is equivalent to 30 milliliters. So we have 30 milliliters here, okay? Very easy, right? So now we have one and three fourths cup of coffee. We know that one cup is equivalent to eight ounces. So we can deal with this one first, right? So that's eight ounces here. All right, we multiply the eight ounces times 30, and that gives us, we add that over here, 240 milliliters, right? And then we deal with the three fourths, three fourths, okay? Three divided by four, gives us, right, uh, 0 0.75, 0 0.75. We know that uh, one cup here is equivalent to eight ounces. We times that 0 0.75 times eight, and we come out with six ounces. Patient uh, drank six ounces, okay? Uh, that's what three fourth is equivalent to, six ounces. So now we take that six ounces and convert it to milliliters. We times it by 30, or by that space, and it gives us 180 milliliters. So now we tally all of these up, right? We tally um, 30 milliliters plus 240 plus um, 180. Did I get them all? And that should give us 420 milliliters. I think that's right. Am I forgetting? We got 30, it's 240, wait. So that should come up to about 420 milliliters, okay? So I hope this helped with converting fractions, okay, to milliliters. All right, thanks for listening.